everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm going to do a ring pour on it. It's going to be an experiment using the mix, and I'll show you the mix, and all unicorn spit paints. Um, I've had these unicorn spit paints for a long time. They are very a very concentrated paint. Um, the viscosity of them though is almost like water. So it's Unicorn Spit Gel Stain and Glaze, it's called. Let's go over my colors. My base coat is the Unicorn Spit Squirrel, it's called. And I did add just a little dab of the um, Amsterdam Acrylic Titanium White to that, just to lighten it up a little bit. I wanted a light brown uh, base coat. And all the rest of my paints are the Unicorn Spit. This one is called Golden Gosling. And then I have Lemon Kiss. Rustic Reality. Molly Red Pepper. Phoenix Fire. And my last one is Navajo Jewel. Very pretty color. These are very concentrated pigment paints. And the reason I can tell is before when I've used them and I turn my canvas over, um, you can see the pigment has come through on the other side. So um, what I'm going to do is stop the camera I'm going to put down my base coat, fill my cup, and then I'll get you back and we'll start painting. So I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got my base coat of my lighter brown uh, down and I've layered my cup. I'll show you my cup. First of all, let's go over my pouring medium. I did forget to mention that. Seven parts of mix to one part paint no silicone added, and the only water I added was to this base coat. I added three drops of water just to make it a little bit thinner so the paint would move. So let's get started with our ring pour. Just gonna go right in the middle. Again, this is just an experiment here, using the mix. And um, unicorn spit paints. And I have not gotten my unicorn spit paints out in so long, I just felt it was time. And from prior usage of the mix, it, it has held the lines of the different color paints so well. And I do want to see how it uh, does with the unicorn spit paints here being so highly pigmented. I was able to get two layers of each color in my cup. That's one good thing about using a paper cup like this is that you can squeeze it down to make a, a funnel opening. You can see that darker brown that I started with. I did layer my cup from darkest paint to lightest paint with two layers.
and I'm just trying to do a good job here at the very end. Okay, not bad. And I think I will torch because I see a lot of air bubbles here. I am uh, liking these colors. I do see the shimmer of the gold in here. Okay. And I just will start tipping here. And I will bring that back down to the middle. Okay, and I'm going to try and go over to this corner. Okay, and I'm going to bring that back to the middle. It's going to cover my corner here. Okay, I'm going to try and get my opposite corner now. I did leave the paint a little bit on the thicker side to try and maintain those rings. And I am going to bring this back to the middle. Just going to take a look at it. Okay, going to tip down to this corner. And bring it back. And take another look. I am going to co cover my corner here. And I'm going to bring this down just a little further here. I'm debating on whether I want to leave some uh, negative space there in the corner. I 
and I'm going to bring that back. And I am going to tip the paint down this way. Hopefully you can see that. Just to run a little bit of that off. I'm seeing where my, my lines are starting to really show through. So I want to stretch them out just a little bit more here. Okay. And bring that back. I'm going to bring it down to this corner. And I'm going to take a look at it. I think it's just beautiful. And I really don't think I want to tip much more off here. Just check my corners. I think I will leave these two corners negative space. And I will torch it again. going to clean off the bottom here a little. I'm going to be very curious to see how this dries. Right now it's just it's it's beautiful and I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. And you can tell me what you think. Okay, here is the upper left hand corner. Just bringing you down the left hand side. Just beautiful rings in here. The Unicorn Spit is a very nice quality paint. This is one of my favorite spots right in here. Those rings are very, very pretty. Again, just up the middle here. And then over in this corner, the upper right-hand corner, where I left a little bit of negative space. And just down to the lower right-hand corner where there's more negative space. And I just, I really think it's very pretty in here. Very pretty. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell. Choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.